Let's start with the parents of the saint, Zachariah and Elizabeth. These two were the ones who God blessed to have a son in their old age. According to the scriptures, in Luke 1, 5 through 25, the angel Gabriel visited Zachariah to tell him that his wife Elizabeth would have a son and that they should name him John. Zachariah was skeptical, and for this he was rendered mute until the time his son was born. He named him John in fulfillment of God's will. When Elizabeth was pregnant with John, she was visited by her cousin Mary, and John leapt in her womb. Elizabeth then knew that the child Mary carried was the Son of God. When Elizabeth gave birth to her son, everyone assumed he would be named after his father, Zachariah. Zachariah, still mute at the time, made motions with his hands asking for writing tools, and then he wrote, His name is John, Luke 1.63. After that, Zechariah was able to speak again and praise God for his redemption. He then prophesied about his son John, You, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him. John began public ministry around 30 AD and was known for attracting large crowds across the province of Judea. When Jesus came to him to be baptized, John recognized him and said, it is I who need baptism from you. Jesus told John to baptize him anyway, which he did. As John was baptizing Jesus, the heavens opened and the Spirit of God was seen like a dove. The voice of God spoke saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. John was later arrested and imprisoned by Herod who wanted him dead, but he was afraid of his followers starting a riot. At Herod's birthday party, his wife's daughter performed a dance that greatly pleased him, so he promised to give her anything she wanted. At her mother's urging, the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist on a tray. Herod regretted what he had said, but he then issued the necessary orders. John the Baptist was then beheaded in prison. He was a righteous man and martyred for the faith. Jesus said, there is no man born of woman greater than John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist, pray for us.